Hi, someone has asked a question from me that how we can do Tetra coverage in Path Loss 5. So even though I currently don't have any Tetra radio or antenna files with me, but just to help that person and just to help everyone who wants to do a small Tetra coverage analysis or point to multi point coverage analysis through Path Loss, I have made this a small video. It will help you just to make a base station and see that how much coverage this base station will have. So this is a sample network for you. Uh, in this network, this site I have chosen to make as a BTS. So I will right click on this site. So in these options, you can see uh, this base station option. You will not find this option in path loss 4. This PTMP and this base station things, these are in path loss 5 only. So when we will go in base station and then we will go for create. So by this creation I am saying path loss to make this site as a base station site. It will not be a normal microwave site, it will be a point to multi point site. So I say create. Now I can give a frequency range for this site. I can give some site data called sign station code. Now you see this antenna height, it has a cross mark. That means the value is not full for this. Uh, we need to provide some further values to go ahead. Otherwise, it will not move forward. So I will click on this arrow. It needs uh, the base station antenna height. So for example, I give it a height of 40 meters. So now we can see that that cross is gone and we have a right tick. We can also provide the antenna coupling. I mean how much duplexer, TX combiner or RX combiner and whatever you have on this site. And also basically this is something that we need to provide. This is your base station antenna model and your base radio model and same your mobile or radio station antenna model radio model because I don't have these models with me so I have put some arbitrary values and that is why you are fi uh, finding some values in the previous uh, window as well. But to make an uh, actual design you need to have all these exact information from the vendor whose radio or uh, antenna you will be using but just to make this video i have put some arbitrary values so now we have put everything so i can go ahead so if you see now this site is changed into a base station it has a small circle around it so it's showing that this is basically this is not a normal site it is a base station site but we want to see that how much area it will be covering and uh, how much will be the received level within those areas so we should again right click and do a local study in local study we can see that how much should be a local uh, what should be the receive levels in the area around the site so we should go and create now the we need to provide some values to it first is the radius currently it is using a 10 kilometer radius so it will give us everything within this radius we can increase this radius to up to 99 so but 99 should be too large let's make it 45 the profile generation we should use we should we are using I have uh, configured this path loss with SRTM but I don't have any clutter data so we will not be using any clutter data here you see when I put it as 45 so the radius which was around here has gone up to 45 kilometers. This base mobile parameters are the same parameters 
that we gave when we were converting that site into the base station. The display criteria is a bit important because it tells you the color which will be used for different receive levels. So for example, receive level minus 50 should be red and then minus 65 should be orange and so on. We can change these colors and we can change the ranges but currently we should keep it as it is. This propagation parameters currently I will not change it and I will not go into details but uh, you can put your actual things here for example what should be the k value for which you are designing this all and what should be the your algorithm that you will be using you can use nsma or tyram or path loss but i will not go in the detail right now so once we have configured everything here then we can generate the local strategy because it is a big circle so it may take a bit of time uh, it will do 13 and 4 calculations to get our uh, required uh, output. So let's see. Mm, it's done now. It took 15 seconds and there was no exceptions. There was nothing wrong doing this calculation. So now we see this beautiful circle we have four colors here this area near to the base station it's almost minus 50 with some very small red pilgrimage then this area is uh, minus 60 and then this outside orange this is minus 70 and this color I'm not good in uh, color names this purple kind of thing this is minus 90 and this is telling us that there is 0% coverage is in hundred minus 100 2.8% coverage is in minus 90 59% the most of the coverage is in minus 70 this red one near to the BTS is minus 60 and very near to the BTS you are on minus 50 so this is how we can see that if we make a site as a BTS then we can see its coverage area in path loss and uh, this help us in making a point to multi point design or a tractor design so I hope I have answered the question of uh, the friend who was asking about tractor design if you still have any question then please you can ask the question and do like my channel so that any new video can be communicated to you thank you bye